brother! And welcome everyone to another exciting episode of J vs. Ben. Today, we are taking on the ultimate defense against the dark arts quiz. Woo! I'm so excited we have finally graduated away from our dollar store whiteboards to new gadgets. Yes, we now have iPads and the purpose of which is that now, look, look how fancy this is. You can see the answers as we write them and get inside our heads, inside of our thought process. But before we begin today's game, let's explain the rules in case this is your first J versus Ben. Here's how it works. Derek is going to read us the questions. We will answer them right here, but we don't get the multiple choice. Yes. Sorry, I was playing with my iPad. Okay. <laughs> if we do want the multiple choice, Jay and I both have to agree, then Derek will read us those and I will still get it wrong. Right, all 50-50s go to me, historically. Yeah, yeah. Everybody knows when you flip a coin, it always lands on Jay. Yes, also, if you want to play along with us, and we hope you do, we will put a link to this quiz down in the description, but I think that's all you need to know. Oh, no, also, we have this timer here. Each of us can use this three times throughout the game if we, uh think we know the answer and we want to put the pressure on the other person to come up with an answer quickly, flip the timer. And whenever it's done, both of us must reveal the answers. But let's go. Question one. How many unforgivable curses are there? Oh boy. Okay. No, I feel like you're no. taking a way long time to answer Way this long one. time. Way lo well, I was trying to be festive with it because it was particularly uh, low ball y, and yeah. then I was afraid. I'll tell you why. All right, ready? Okay. Three. Boom, three. Yay. Is, my, is it upside down? Oh, no. It does appear to be upside down. <laughs> okay, well, there's that. That's weird. We're learning about this. <laughs> Question two What is the incantation of the spell that can expel a boggart? I feel like... I, I know uh, I'm spelling it wrong. I know, yeah, yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yes, I feel like correct. Uh, in the past, we have sort of had the advantage of the fact that people maybe couldn't see our handwriting oh, that well, no. but now it's going to be very, now very oh, clear. I'm immediately afraid of my spells, like, I spelled that wrong. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm just going to always try to go as festive as possible as with best, it. Yeah. I used as a K. Much, Did you use a K? I used two Ks. Fantastic. Hewless. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. It is two Ks. Oh, was it? Yeah. Dang, ah. he's always right. <laughs> Question three. This is a select which does not apply. Which of these is not a Gilderoy Lockhart book? Travels with trolls? Wanderings with werewolves? Dating with dementors? Voyages with vampires? I got it. I'm ready. Which of these does not? Which of these is Which not is a not. Gilderoy Lockhart book? Okay, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Dating with Dementors. Dating with Dementors is correct. How could that possibly be a thing? Oh, I know, I have right? No That's idea. Just a a horrifying... I feel like they could have chosen. Also, they don't even introduce the phrase Dementor until. Prisoner of Azkaban. I feel so. like they could have even gone, like, if they're going for the, the alliteration. Is it alliteration when it's consonants? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they could have gone with, like, demiguys instead of... Oh, dating with demiguys. Yeah. They're invisible! Hey, how great! <laughs> <laughs> it's like being on a date by yourself. <laughs> Maybe you are. <laughs> Helps with loneliness. Question four. Which incantation would you use to disarm an opponent? Ooh. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Expelliarmus! Expelliarmus is Ooh. correct. Huzzah! Boy. This quiz These is are just getting really, really hard. Yeah. <laughs> Coming out hard, this quiz. How are you clear? Are you using the eraser or are you like clearing the screen? I'm using the eraser. I feel like it's more fun. Yeah. You're yeah. just leaving lucky smudges over there. I, I, I like my lucky smudges. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't have them anymore now that we don't have a physical whiteboard. Yeah. Question five. Which mark did Harry achieve in his Defense Against the Dark Arts OWL examination? Three, two, one. Outstanding. Outstanding. Outstanding oh. is correct. Yay. That was what I was like, is this right? It's like the only one that he beat Hermione on. It's like I knew, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, that's like, 
It's one of those complaints I have about the books is sometimes I feel like they don't make Harry quite capable enough, but I do feel like with the OWLs, it's like, no, 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 he's actually better than like the best student at Hogwarts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. They got, they got to give him something. Right. Question six. How many times did Tom Riddle apply to be the Defense Against the Dark Arts professor? Ready? Three, yeah. two, one, two. Two is correct. You guys make your twos different. Do we? Yeah, I I do use, a, you I, do a loopy. A loopy two. Yours I, is kind of like a Z. I'm a big fan of the loopy myself. I like to think of it as a cursive Q. <laughs> sure. Is that what they look like? One of them looks like a big two. Yeah. Is the Q? I think it's the Q. Or is it the Z? The I Z, know. I think, Maybe. has got like a... Is that a Z? I have no purpose for it. Like, oh, I don't yeah, have, something like that. Technically, they could see it anyway. I don't even have to turn it around. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Old habits die hard. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell how many cursive Qs we're making. None. Question... Maybe, no, I think nope. it is the... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Question seven. Lockhart often liked to make Harry act out scenarios in his class. Which of the following has Harry not played? A vampire... A yeti with a head cold, a Transylvanian villager, a mummy. This is one of those where I, whenever I reread the books, especially here in late, I usually pick it up at four. You just stop. You just don't even do ch chamber. I uh, well, I don't. I don't even do prisoner. Right. Uh, it's just been. It's been goblet through the through the finish line there. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Man. Okay. Yeah. This is an interesting. But he was not one of these. Let's see. Man, the only example I can even remember is the werewolf one. And it's not even one of the options. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to take a stab. Uh, okay. Mm, yeah. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three, two, one. Yeti? Said villager. The correct answer is a mummy. Ah, oh, man, the mummy yeah. seemed like one of the ones that would be most, like, kind of humiliating in a way, like, because right. you'd have to do so much. I thought, like, the, the Transylvanian villager would be like, what would he really have to do to be that? He'd have to be so gracious. That's why. Uh, like, here, praise me. Okay. Sort of okay. thing, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Question eight. Where would you find a kappa? Let's sorry. see. Okay. Um, oh, well, sorry. I thought you were going to turn. This is... I, I have a guess. There's, like, one thing that I remember from, like, the, the Fantastic Beasts book. Like, the... That I, that I feel like I'm remembering, but I don't even know if it's... If I'm directing it to the right beast. Yeah. I am... Um, I'm remembering a specific scene, and I'm like, was that a Kappa? I feel like... I, like... Ugh. <sighs> I don't know if that's what, you're saying specific because they don't doesn't there so it's like uh, I feel like yeah this is annoying I feel like you made it more complicated sorry maybe <laughs> this is because uh, I don't think they do okay well I feel like I've put almost two answers down but. We'll see. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. So, at first I wrote down Japan, but then I wrote down more swamp. I, so, the I put down a swamp. The correct answer is shallow ponds. Uh, you, neither of you have the uh, shallow ponds, so I'm going to say it's a wash either way. Sure. But uh, what What is a bog? Because I wrote down a bog. A bog. <laughs> uh, is that a word? That's yeah, a word. that's a word, yeah. Uh, I don't know what classifies a swamp versus a bog. Versus a marsh. Versus a marsh, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I was remembering the scene where Ron gets tricked into the swamp in his Defense Against the Dark Arts quit or exam in Prisoner. I thought. And I was like, was that a Kappa? But then, uh, like, when I think of Kappa, I'm just like, Japanese water demon. Yeah. That's sure. what I always say. Right, That's and that's what I was thinking of from, like, the movie uh, where it's, like, sitting in the bathtub. I feel like yeah. we were more specific than. Yeah, the quiz. Yeah, it's okay. okay. Well, it's, okay. we it's either both got it or both missed it. You guys it, know so. we know where Kappa's come from. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Question nine. In what year are data students taught about Horcruxes? Is this a trick question? I think... Is this like what year they would normally be taught? Or is it like a... Oh, I see what you mean by trick question. 
Yeah, that's interesting. I am answering with a number. <laughs> In which year are Defense Against the Dark Arts students taught about Horcruxes? That is the question. That is the question. Okay. Three, two, one. Seven. They aren't. They are not. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Seriously? <laughs> okay. Because uh, that's... Uh, at some point, they're like... They, it would only be studied by older students sure. who are becoming Aurors. And then like, dumb... Oh man. Well, because like, I knew that. Well, that was my thinking. It was like, that was one of the huge things, like even when Tom Riddle in the 19, what, 40s, 50s? Yeah. Is asking Slughorn about it. It's like the very nature that he's even brought it up is like completely inappropriate. Right. Well, so, I'll, okay. I'll give you that one. I feel like that's one if I could have seen that they aren't was a choice. I'd yeah. Like, well, it, obviously. If for right. multiple choice, yeah. 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 But yeah. anyway. Question 10. What power does mastering the art of occlumency give you? Okay. I guess I feel like that's... Yeah, I feel like okay. this is an acceptable answer. Three, two, one. Said to repel mind reading. Yeah. Uh, correct, yeah. yeah. The ability to defend your mind against external penetration. Okay. Yeah, like, like we yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, like I said. Yeah, like I said. <laughs> that, that's one of those where I feel like I very frequently get uh, legitimacy and occlumency right. confused, except I think I remember like the actual spell that Snape <coughs> is using on Harry yes. is legilimens. So... But yeah, makes sense because Aquamans does not have a, yeah. a good that ring a fun to it. Word, yeah, yeah. Aquamans. <laughs> it's like, really? Yeah. Really? It's not even hard to forget that. Question 11. In which year are Harry and his classmates taught about nonverbal spells? Did you just know it right away? Yeah, totally. Totally got it. Here. here, I'll tell you non-verbally. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Three, two, one. Six. The correct answer is the sixth year. Woo! Dang. Because that's when he learns um, Sectum Sempra. I was trying to think if there was something, because I think in... By the time that he gets into the duel with Malfoy, isn't Malfoy using nonverbal magic? Yeah, but that's also in the sixth year. It is also in the sixth year, but yeah. I guess I was trying to figure out whether or not he would have learned it that quickly. Mm. Well, Snape learn. is the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher that year. Right, so. right. Well, and that's what I was thinking. Fifth year is actually what felt right to me, but there was no way Umbridge taught them that. So. Exactly, sure. Yeah. So but then it was like, did, did Snape actually teach them something like... That I could also send him being like a trick question, like Lupin mentioned at a higher level, people can do nonverbal spells. Sure, or something. sure. And you're like, so they learned about them. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. right, right. But not how to do them. Anyway. Question 12. In Gilderoy Lockhart's quiz about himself... What's his favorite color? Three, two, one. Lilac. Lilac. It's like is our correct. favorite office oh, no. word. That's Absolutely. such an easy one. Absolutely. But Hermione Granger. Hardly any of you remember my favorite color is lilac. <laughs> that's one of those I, th I always like. I know I remember the movie quote. I hope that's what it was in the book. Oh, right. I know. That'd be so <laughs> annoying if it yeah. wasn't. Yeah. It's turquoise. Question 13 What will the reductor curse, reducto, do to an object. This is, I think that there's like a falsehood in the movies. You think so? With this one. Unless I have it wrong. I remember specifically when he learns it, 
and the description, so I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. So blast it away or apart. Boom. The correct answer is to blast it to pieces. Yeah! I would make it small. <laughs> make it small, make it small, small. <laughs> Big too little, big too little. No, uh, I, what do they say? All right, there's two moments in the movie that I was remembering. I think there's one where Ginny uses it uh, in the Dumbledore's army and yeah. she like blows up like a mannequin or something and yes. everybody's like, whoa! Ooh. But then I also feel like there's a moment in Deathly Hallows where Ron returns and they've got like the little flame and they do something and like in Gorgio and it makes it really big and then they say like Reducto and it makes it small again. Hmm. Do you? Am Possibly. I wrong? I don't remember that particular scene. I remember in Goblet of Fire, Harry learns it for the hedge maze. Okay. And I just read Goblet. So sure. Okay. That. Yeah. Well, that makes sense too. Yeah. It seems like Reducto seems very similar to Reduce. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If something's blown up, I'd say it's been significantly reduced. <laughs> well, into like smolders. So really, I was only like, you know, S M O. Smolders. Smolders. Like I was saying, I just didn't finish writing. That's yeah, all it absolutely. was. I accidentally yeah. smudged it off. And what about that picture, though? I know. I did. I had to illustrate it. <laughs> Question 14. Which defense against the dark arts professor set a sort of obstacle course practical exam? Three, Ready? two, one. Lupin! Luppin! The correct answer is a Remus Luppin. There we go. <laughs> Remus Luppin. Good pronunciation. Many uh, people it. get that wrong. Question 15. The Patronus charm is known to fight Dementors, but what other magical creature does it work against? I think this is right. Mm-hmm. Boy, this is a... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a question that I think only you guys will ever get without seeing the answers. I'm... I'm I don't even think I'm going to get it right. I'm questioning my spelling, but I think you will know that I have thought mm -hmm. of the right creature. Mm -hmm. That makes me think that I'm definitely not right. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I feel like there is a creature that is incredibly similar to a Dementor. I just can't remember what it's called. Yes. If only. <clears throat> Flipping the timer. Okay. Cool. God, please hit me. No, that's not going to. Three, two, one. Lethifold? Yeah. You are so close. The correct answer is Lethifold. Yay! Uh, I knew I knew it started with an L. Yes! Lampreth is pretty close. Uh, ah. Yeah. This is one of those where I was, uh, in my head, I was like, am I being smarter than the quiz? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it works against Lethifolds, but... Would they know that? <laughs> well, so I had Bogger written down because like, oh, because like, hmm, that's interesting. Harry does use it against that's the Bogger. True. So that's true. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're totally right. That's yeah, not, yeah, that's a good, that's a creative answer. Okay, well, that'd be a, that'd be a creative phrased question. Yeah, that'd be one yeah. I feel like you could argue in class. Be like, Miss Price <laughs> does use it against the. Uh, it's the Dementor bog art there. But you want to know what the worst part is? Is that the creative thinking, I feel like, is just never rewarded in the way that I want it to be. It's like, right. it's like you can tell that I was thinking outside the box, and isn't that more important? <laughs> you think. But no, Ben, remembering specific things is more <sighs> important. Ninth, ninth grade English all over again. Oh, man. <laughs> Which of these spells requires more than just a simple counter curse to reverse it? I think you have to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I realize that now. <laughs> Go ahead, guys. What's the answer? Uh, <laughs> Which of these spells requires more than just a simple counter curse to reverse it? Levy corpus, leg locker curse, petrification, the full body bind curse. I'm good.
All right, ready? Yep, three, two, one. Petrification. The correct answer is petrification. Woo! The way that was phrased, it made it sound like it might have been <clears throat> multiple. Yeah, I agree. Um, but. Yeah, that's, I would even say that was just weird to the tune of petrification doesn't really feel like. Petrification is not a spell. Right. <laughs> right. It's like, yeah. It's like, this is a weird happenstance where you almost see a basilisk. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that seems weird. Hmm. Oh, well. Either way. We both got it right. Mandrakes. That's the answer. <laughs> so lucky that they were growing yeah. in that year. So lucky. It's the weirdest thing. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> it's just like the plot required it or something. <laughs> oh. I would like to think that every year they're doing mandrakes. And... It's the type of detail that I wish was alluded to, like, in one sentence oh, right. in the like, first book. Like, like Colin Creevy fainted during Mandrakes in Herbology or something. Anything. Yeah. Just, like, all, all it would take would just be, like, just enough to where there has been any kind of, like, this is the thing that's going to happen yeah. in the like, future. Yeah, like, this part of the world has already been built. Yes, right. yes, yes, yeah. yes. Instead, I think it's the exact opposite. I think Professor Sprout is like, I was lucky to come across a thing of mandrakes for us to study this year. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway. Question 17. What did Professor Quirrell's classroom smell of? Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Jarlic. It smelled of jarlic. Jarlic. Poor yep. Jordan would not be okay. She would not like that smell. Question 18. Which mark did Hermione achieve in her Defense Against the Dark Arts OWL examination? Oh, no. I feel like we should we could start oh, wait. the ASMR channel. Just, just the, the clickies. Just the clickies, <laughs> yes. Wait. Oh my gosh. Now I'm having like a total... Planic attack? A planic attack. I'm ready if you are. I, and I'm just going to do this. Just go ahead and do it. <laughs> just do it. Do it to it. What if I just do this? Huh? I feel like that works. Okay. Three, two, one. E. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is exceeds expectations. Okay, awesome. What had you written down? I wrote down excellent, and then I wrote down exceeds expectations. <laughs> okay. I was like, <laughs> then you're like, screw it, E. E. <laughs> <laughs> the letter. That's the grade she got was E. It is the letter that she, yeah, it yeah. is that yeah. is the grade. Yeah. Um, I had E, and then and then added. Everyone will have seen my thought process. Yes. That's gonna yeah. be one of the fun ones. I, I feel know. Like, I think like, the, one of the That's interesting things it. about this. Yeah, is the fact that people can see us thinking. So, like, even, like, going back to, like, the Bogger question, it's like, if nobody saw me write it, then it's like, I could sort of claim it after mm -hmm. the fact. But right. people will have seen it. Right. And then they'll know that I'm not That's just those, making it up. I feel like I remember on, like, midterms reports, if you got, like, exceeds expectations, that was, like, a, a nice way for the teacher to give you, like, a participation mark or something. Like, participates. <laughs> <laughs> was there. Isn't failing yes, <laughs> or yes. something. And I was like, that doesn't sound like it would be like basically the highest grade though, except for outstanding. Anyway, that yeah. was my thought process. I think it always drove me crazy that it's the OWLs and the top scores and O, and I guess I just want the second one to be a W. Right, sure. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> yes, yeah. Sure. <laughs> wex seeds, wex expectations. Wex, wex seeds. They could have gone with that. They could have. Add a little whimsy. <laughs> L, loser. <laughs> <laughs> S, sucks. <laughs> Question 19. Used right, the incantation relatio will produce what? Oh, I hope I'm not getting this wrong. Yeah, me too. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. So it like binds them up, right? Ropes, yeah. Yeah, I said, I said cords ropes that bind, that bind a centaur all up. All up. <laughs> the correct answer is the revulsion jinx. What? The uh, revulsion jinx? The revulsion jinx. jinx. Wait, what was the question? Uh, used right, the incantation relatio will produce what? The revulsion jinx? Yep. What? 
I, isn't this what I thought? This is what Umbridge. Used. I believe that's what Umbridge used on a centaur. I think that's what they use on um, like. Um, is that what the Lupin uses it in the Shrieking Shack, doesn't he? For who? For like Syria or like Snape? Uh, Snape. I think this is a movie versus book thing. It might be. Man, I want, I, yeah, have... I want book text on screen. Huh. Man. I mean, Relashia, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense because it sort of like, sounds like release. release. Yeah. Um, but, like, yeah, okay. I, I'm very curious to know what Umbridge uses. I'm, I'm relatively certain it is Relashio. I want to know what they use to, like, bind people up. What does that spell? I don't know. Well, we'll put it. We'll put it on screen. We'll put yeah. it on screen. Question twenty: What happens if someone were to read the cursed book, Sonnets of a Sorcerer? Uh, this is one where they're like they're listing off what happens with like cursed books, and there's like a few examples. That uh, pretty, this is one. This is one. Okay, you got it. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Ready? Three, yeah. two, one. You have to sing all of your words forever. Oh, stop singing. Yeah. The correct answer is speak in limericks for the rest of their life. Which is different than singing, but either way, it's still a wash because you guys have the same answer. I feel like I'm giving us that point. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say, yeah, it's like, there's been a couple of these where we've we've both missed it and both gotten it right. I'm going to say that's a both got it right. I agree. <laughs> Go us. Yeah. Woo. Same team, except totally against each other. Yeah. Question 21. When Amicus Caro took over Defense Against the Dark Arts, what did he make the students do? Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I said practice the Cruciatus curse on each other. I said practice the or torture first years with the unforgivable curse Cruciatus. That is correct. They practice the Cruciatus curse on other students. Cool. Well, I was gonna say <laughs> I think I think that we can both call that a win because it's clearly the right answer. But I yeah. that might be a book text versus movie where I think when they come through the passage with Neville, he's like. They made us practice the Cruciatus curse on first years or something oh, sure. like that. So other Might students be. versus first years. Either way, we got other it right. students. Yeah. Yeah. Question 22. How many rolls of parchment did Snape assign the students for their essay on werewolves? Ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Two? Three? The correct answer is two. Woo! Of course it Flip is. Flip going! <laughs> <clears throat> if anything, I actually, I feel like they start the books maybe by assigning like inches of parchment. Right. And then at some point it transfers to rolls. Or right. maybe that's just like you get older and like it's more than one. Oh, right. Maybe it's inches if it's on a single. Right. And afterwards it's just like, whatever. Just fill out a whole page. Question 23. A mixture of powdered silver and dittany can be used to what? Ready? I, th uh, I think so. I'm. I am guessing. I am guessing I went, too. I went to Yeah. Uh, All right. Ready? Three, yeah. two, one. I said, sleeping potion, the draft of living death. I said, heal a 
splice or is it splinch? Oh, sure. Wound, when like Ron gets... They use Essence of Dittany on that. They I do. was thinking this was one of the things Snape says in the first class. And he's like, if I were to use an infusion of silver powder and worm... Or whatever. <laughs> and wormwood. The correct answer is to cause a fresh werewolf bite to seal. Oh, obviously. Sure. <laughs> silver bullets. That's part of it, right? No? Is that a thing? Werewolves and silver bullets? Yes. Okay. How clever, J.K. Rowling. I didn't know that one at all. I don't so know Ben was real close, but if you mentioned werewolves at all, I would have taken it. All I was trying to think was that opening class with Snape, but yeah. I, I was like, Dittany, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, Dittany is like a like a wound. Yeah, it's like used for healing, but like in so it's so often that they can just use like Essence of Dittany to heal something Right. that I was like, it must be like a particularly difficult thing to heal. Mm -hmm. And I thought I remembered like when Ron comes back, Hermione's like, I need Dittany and something. Oh, like, right. Like because repairing lost is right. different than... Mm -hmm. Repeat, yeah. Repairing a wound. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. I don't know. That was my that was my thinking. Once it makes sense once you think of it. Yeah. Question twenty four. Who taught defense against the dark arts at Ilvermorny? I mean, like, there's not that many. Uh, well, um, that's still my answer. I I don't know. I have <laughs> I have like one. Stab, I'm fine with just going for it. Yeah, me too. If we're okay. right, internal glory, <coughs> internal glory. That's what I meant to say. Internal. Yeah. It, but just, <laughs> right I here. feel good about myself. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. It's salt fire. That's what I said too. Uh, fascinating that you have the same answer, but it is actually a Ryan Arc steward. Would Ryan not Ryan have had that. Ryan I've Ryan. never seen the name written before. All right, question 25. Alistair Moody once demonstrated the Imperious Curse by putting it on students. What did he make Dean Thomas do? Boy, I have to do like a total guess. Ready? <laughs> do you know? No. Oh, okay. Th three, two, one. It's like cluck like a chicken. That is shockingly similar to that. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is hop three times around the room singing the national anthem. Oh, I almost had singing. That was, uh, I, I, knew I, I, I knew I drew a chicken. Well, you drew a chicken. Kind of like a dragon. It's the number of times we've had the same answer that's wrong is hilarious. It is, right? it is. He makes someone do that. And he makes Neville do cartwheels. I knew that one. I knew that he one. doesn't seem agile enough to do a cartwheel. That, they didn't say that. They said he made Neville do cartwheels. He certainly wouldn't have been able to do normally. Fantastic. Yeah. Hmm. Question 26. What does Wilbert Slinkard's textbook, Defensive Magical Theory, say on the subject of counter jinxes? I would get multiple choice. Yeah, I would get okay. multiple choice. <laughs> the answers are, they are improperly named, they are often ineffective, they are shamefully lazy. They are overused. Okay. I think I actually remember this one. But we'll find out. Okay. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I said improperly named. I too said improperly named. The correct answer is they are improperly named. Yeah! Because it's not like it's not like it exists to counteract the other thing. It's like its own spell, but also it does that. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Is that one where like Hermione chimes in with that? I think so. <clears throat> I think she says because I think that one's the one in fifth year with Umbridge or something. Yeah, I think yeah. I think that is that's right. All right. We got it! Harry's defense against the dark arts OWL examination involved an obstacle course of dark creatures. Which of these did not feature? Blast ended Scroot, Redcaps, Grindylows, Boggart. Uh, three, two, one. Blast ended Scroots. A blast ended Scroots is the correct answer in the quiz. <laughs> Why? Are you sure that's not the OWL exam? It's just Lupin's exam. I was going to say, yeah. The... Yeah. Either way, Blast Ended Scroots are only in the fourth book, and Hagrid invents them, and 
So they're yeah, not they're, anywhere Therefore, else. they're not going to be <laughs> yeah, yeah, like in an <laughs> WL. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's... I think we've made that mistake in a video before where we like insisted that they include Scroots and in Fantastic Beasts, which they Oh they can't. They will not. Yeah. Although you know what? They probably will. Oh my no, that's gosh. A fair point. That yeah. would be interesting. Yeah, if they act mm. <laughs> There's Newt breeding fire crabs and manticores. <laughs> you know, dangerous like that. Yes. Question twenty eight. According to Ron, which teacher told the defense against the dark arts class about the curse of the bogies? Why would this be according to Ron? I know. Does that mean that like he's recalling something of a teacher who he had heard of that doesn't actually teach? I know, that's almost what would make me think is like, is this like oh, a... Yeah. My brother Charlie told me about him. Right. The curse of the bogeys. I think someone so told me about I think I remember so and so. I'm gonna okay. <laughs> That'll just give you the answer. <laughs> yeah. I, <think> so. <laughs> I mean I don't know. I don't, this is my guess. I, who knows? <laughs> okay. All right. Three, two, one. Quarrel. Quarrel. Quarrel is the correct answer. Woo! Because I think this is like pre you know when Quarrel is a bad guy. And he's like, I can't wait to look up that curse Professor Quarrel told us about the curse of the bogeys and use it on Malfoy or something. Ah. Uh, yeah. It's like. It's one of those where I was trying to think, yeah, like Ron frequently is the character who like tells information about the wizarding world to the other two. Yeah. And it's like the only professor that would have been there prior would have been Quirrell, even though he wasn't Defense Against the Dark Arts. Oh, so sure. it was like one of those, maybe? Yeah. Question 29. According to Newt Scamander's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, which of these creatures is classified as the most dangerous? Sphinx, Chimera, Griffin, or Yeti. This is one of those where I could see Newt's reasoning having less to do with the danger uh, don't get it wrong. I feel pretty confident, but... <laughs> Do you know what I'm trying to say? Um, no. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Chimera. Chimera. The correct answer is Chimera. Okay. No points for spelling, though. <laughs> but yeah, what is C-H-I-M-E-R-A? Uh, uh, probably worse. They than actually that. put A E R A at the end of it for uh, okay, the quiz. Okay, anyway. okay. I'm pretty sure I spelled Griffin wrong too. So yeah. it's all right. cool. It's um, cool. That was one where I could see the Sphinx because of its intellect. Oh, mm, sure. Was sure. what I was thinking. Where it's like Newt is less worried with fangs and claws and right, and more of like their personality, which right. is what I think the Chimera is because they have multiple heads. I. Right? The Chimera has not, two heads me. and a yeah. snake tail. Yeah. Right. So I think that... Three heads, even. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think that portion of it made it more dangerous. Yeah. This is one where, like, Newt, the character from Fantastic Beasts, probably would say that, but the actual textbook that you have is... Or that we have, where this information is coming from, still is, like, more generally what you'd think as of more okay. dangerous. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Fair. All right, question 30. In which year were the unforgivable curses classified as unforgivable by law? Oh, gosh. Yep. Uh, multiple choice? Let's do multiple it. Multiple choice? Yeah. We can do multiple choice, or we can do just whoever gets closer. Um, or multiple choice. Multiple choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fine. All right, uh... All right, the answers are 1775, 1717, 1861, 1941. Hmm. Boy, this didn't help at all. No, no, it sure didn't. Um, 1770. I have a guess. You have a guess? Yes. Oh, boy. Now yes. I need to guess. Have a guess. Is that a song? Have a guess. Have a guess. <laughs> put we should have been songs. Put your answer to the test. <laughs> okay, I just, yeah, all I can do is guess. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. 1775. 1861. The correct answer is 1717. Oh! I was like, hey, that's the one you'd hope it is. 
I, uh, I was trying to remember when the um, international statute of secrecy came into play. Mm -hmm. Sure. And I don't know why, but 1861 stood out to me as a like relevant major Wizarding World event, and I couldn't even remember why. I just feel like I've seen the date before, mm -hmm. and so I was like, maybe, <laughs> like maybe? Ma maybe that's like one of those where they were like, hey, we need to go underground. Also, also, stop doing the main ones. <laughs> Woo! Victory is mine. Huzzah! I don't. Mm -mm, no, not good. Not good. So sad. Do you have a smiley? That's a frown face. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Oh, goodness me. Okay, so question number one. What do you think of our new, like, style? Actually, this is more of a question for them. Yeah. But what did you think of it? I really liked it. I was very self-conscious about spelling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, oh uh, spelling made up words. This is fun. <laughs> I, I give so few cares in the world. I yeah. think as far as I'm concerned, it's like, Let's not get caught up in in, in like the minutia right, of something yes. like that. You know, it's like as long as you can have an intelligent really conversation know. about a fantasy world, then you have all the necessary knowledge that you need. Right. And yeah. question two, how did you guys do on the quiz? Did you beat our scores? We would love to know in the towel section down below. Guys, we have been adding all sorts of limited run t-shirts over to our merch store at supercarlinbrothers.store, but one of our absolutely most popular t-shirts is the Lion Snakes, Eagles, and Cake shirt, which is available year round. You should totally go check it out. Guys, thanks so much as always for watching today's video. Please remember to like the video if you haven't already and subscribe so you don't miss any future J vs. Ben action from us. If you want to see more quizzes, you can check out our entire playlist right here. Or if you want to see why Luna is actually Snape, you can check out that video right here. But Ben, that's all I've got time for today, man. Bye!